Welcome to Quarry Plus. This mod adds an updated version of the old Buildercrafts quarry from the Tekka days of Minecraft, which will allow you to set up machines to automatically mine for you. So how do we get started? Before we jump in, please check if you are running the Fabric or the Forge version of the mod. If you're running the Forge version, please click on the video that just popped up in the top right hand corner of the screen, as the Fabric and Forge versions are entirely different. With that out of the way, let's get started by creating our first quarry system. The first block that you will need to craft is the Quarry Plus block, which is our first quarry system that we will create. Once placed, you'll see the quarry frames are outlined in a yellow and black line. This is the section that the quarry will be mining inside. Next we need to power our quarry. We could power it with Tech Energy, which can come from a few mods including Tech Reborn. For a full guide on Tech Reborn, feel free to check out the video that just popped up in the top right. But in this case, let's just connect it to a solar panel. The quarry will now begin to power up and will start to construct itself before it turns on and will start mining. You can place a chest next to or on top of the quarry to have items automatically placed inside, and you can also place a tank as well to collect any liquids it runs into. Congratulations, you've constructed your first quarry. Now let's say you want to add an enchantment to your quarry. All you have to do is place the quarry block inside of an enchantment table and you can enchant it before placing it. As you can see on your screen, you can add efficiency, unbreaking, fortune, and silk touch to the quarry. Now that we've gone over upgrades, let's go over how we can customize how large we want our quarry to mine. The first item we can craft is the flexible marker. The flexible marker will show a pink box that we can modify by right clicking on the marker to open a GUI. Once the GUI is open, we can click the plus or minus button to change the line by one block or the double plus or double minus button to change it by 16 blocks at a time. The chunk marker is useful if you want to dig chunks. To start, I recommend pressing F3 and G on your keyboard to show chunks and then place the chunk marker on the corner of a chunk. Now simply right click on the marker on the GUI and you could change the amount of chunks you want to mine. You can also craft waterlogged versions of these chunk markers which will allow you to place them down underwater. There's also another machine called the Chunk Destroyer. The Chunk Destroyer works like the quarry but the machine will remove all blocks inside of the chunk it has been placed in. You could also right click on the Chunk Destroyer and add chunks one by one by clicking on one of the plus signs. As an added bonus, the Chunk Destroyer will remove these blocks shown on the screen and not place them in the chest. This is great so you don't overload your system with stone or dirt. The last block is the advanced pump, which will allow you to pump fluids. Simply place the machine down above fluids, then place a tank and send energy to the pump. The fluids will begin to be pumped out and placed inside of the tank. Some extra items and blocks that are worth talking about are the following. The status checker allows you to right click on a machine and it will give you all of the details including if it has finished yet. The quarry Y setter lets you set the Y level that you want to stop the machine at. For example, if you want it to stop at Y level 12, simply right click on the machine with the setter and select 12. The placer plus block will place items in their own inventory when a redstone signal is hit, which is good for automation. The remote placer block does the same but will allow you to set coordinates for where to place the block down. And that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching and feel free to go check out the video now on the screen where I cover the entirety of storage drawers which can help you store your items from your quarry.